Are you wondering how do I lower high liver enzymes? My name is Dr. Terranella, and in this video, we're going to look at some of the strategies and techniques that you can use to lower your liver enzymes. We'll look at what liver enzymes are, how they function, and what you can do to help your body get these levels down in the case that they are elevated. If you like these types of videos about health, liver function, detoxification, etc., click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Okay, let's look at how to lower liver enzymes. So how do you lower high liver enzymes? Well, lowering high liver enzymes or elevated liver enzymes can be pretty straightforward, but you don't wanna to try to lower the levels without first finding out what the cause is. So first let's talk a little bit about what liver enzymes are. So liver enzymes are proteins or well, all enzymes are proteins. And so these are proteins that are inside the liver cells, the liver tissue, and they help support the normal functioning of the liver, which is mostly detoxification. There are three main uh, liver enzymes. There's the AST, which is uh, aspartate aminotransferase. There's ALT, which is alanine aminotransferase. And there's GGT, which is gamma glutamyl transferase. So all these enzymes are basically transferring a, a molecule onto the toxin to help it get eliminated from the body. When these enzymes are high, it means that you have inflammation in your liver. So it makes sense that you would want to get them down or reduce them so you no longer have inflammation in your liver. The first step, of course, is to remove the any known cause that could be causing these issues. So that would be things like alcohol, Tylenol, sometimes fatty liver is a contributing factor, and of course viruses or viral hepatitis can also do this. These are all known causes or common causes of elevated liver enzymes. So if you don't remove these causes first, take Taking any vitamin, nutrient, supplement, etc., will have limited effects or may not even work at all. So, if you're taking a lot of Tylenol for pain, for instance, you may need to find a different pain alternative. You should talk to your doctor about different options for that. If you consume a lot of alcohol or even you know mild to moderate amounts, you may need to cut that out or cut back to see if that has an effect on your liver enzymes. If you're consuming lots of alcohol, you may need extra help through like a medical detox, for instance. In the case of fatty liver, or what's also known as NASH, or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, the problem occurs from excess triglycerides, which usually occurs from excess carbohydrate intake. So it would make sense that lowering your carbohydrate intake, specifically like the refined carbohydrates, would improve that. Now, sometimes there's a combination of multiple things going on, so you do need to kind of hone in and get some lab work done, diagnostic tests to get a clear understanding of what you need to do to lower the numbers, remove the cause, etc. Now, there are some nutrient deficiencies that can make one more susceptible to elevated liver enzymes or high liver enzymes, and generally that's going to be B vitamin deficiencies. The main reason is B vitamins are needed to make choline, and choline is an essential part of making the transportation proteins to get triglycerides out of your liver and into the peripheral tissues to be stored as fat. Specifically, it's B12 and methylfolate that are needed to make choline. Supplementing with any of those, B12, folate, and choline, can help your liver recover, especially when it's from the fatty liver type, and maybe in, in some cases, not even from fatty liver. Glutathione is one of the main antioxidants in our body and also important for overall detoxification. Anything that helps with glutathione production or recycling will support the liver function. So things like milk thistle, for instance, help increase the amount of glutathione, taking it from the oxidized state to the reduced state, which can really help with your liver in terms of the reducing the inflammation and helping it with detoxification. Okay, so that's all I have for this video on how do I lower high liver enzymes. If you do have additional questions on this topic, drop it in the comments section. Uh, I may do a separate video on this topic because there's kind of a lot to cover. If there's interest, I will do that. So if you do have interest in that, drop it in the comments section as well. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.